all right so for those that have been watching my videos you know that i don't just teach what i don't practice so in this video i'm going to use those live chats to predict the next price of the market we are going to use bitcoin as a case study then use it to enter and exit other trades so we'll find out if i'll make good profit or i'll make loss based on what i'll be teaching you in this video all right so please don't fast forward this video every part of this video is very important even if you've learned or you know about technical analysis indicators in the past there's definitely something new you will learn from this video all right so this video is a full course it's expected to grow you from a novice or a beginner level trader to an advanced trader i'm going to apply everything i'll teach you in this video in a live trade so you can see how i'm going to take my trade then end up either in profit or loss okay hello crypto pinwars welcome to today's edition of ceo's crypto edutainment and opportunities i remain the bishop of crypto cathedral in today's video we are going to be talking about binance spot trading yeah binance spot trading after my last two videos a lot of people has indicated interest in learning how to start trading a lot of people are beginners and they don't actually know where to start from so today we are going to be starting from the very beginning from the very basis how to start spot trading all right so i'm going to be teaching you the basis at the end of this video you should be able to identify candlesticks you should be able to identify trends and patterns you should be able to draw your support and resistance you should be able to use your technical indicators correctly and also know how to take trading decisions that are worthwhile the reason for learning technical analysis is to engage in trades that will give you good profit so at the end of this video you should be able to take trading decisions that will make you good profit at the close of every trade you take all right so without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the business of the day all right so just before we commence don't forget to hit the like button that is the way of encouraging us to keep doing the good work we are doing and also if you're new to this channel just hit up the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for instant update so whenever i release the next video on ceo you get instantly notified all right so let's get down to business all right so before you can successfully engage in spot trading or arbitrage trading as seen in my last two videos you must have the basis knowledge of technical analysis you must have the basic knowledge of how to use your technical indicators and that is what we are going to be doing in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to use your technical indicators correctly with your mobile phone yeah you are going to be using your mobile phone because i know that not a uh, lot of people have access to doing analysis with their pc so i'm going to be using my mobile phone to illustrate exactly how you can get it done and make good profits for yourself all right so as you can see i'm logged into my binance page and on the home screen here at the bottom you can see something like home market trade futures and wallet all right so right now we are going to click on market remember we are trying to know how to trade binance sports trading this is a tutorial on how to trade binance sport trading from the very start for beginners to an advanced level all right so this is the sports market you can see at the top you can see favorite sport features and zones what we are dealing on is sports market how to buy and sell profitably in binance sports market all right so we are going to pick a coin this is a list of coins and tokens that have been traded on binance coin market the first one is the busdt peer we have the usdt peer we have the bmb peer we have the uh, btc peer we have oit peers and we have fiat peers all these are tradable on binance spot market yeah i use tap trader for my technical analysis because on your mobile phone you may not actually be able to get the best out of binance technical indicators how to draw your uh, chart effectively so i actually make use of tap trader to do my analysis all right so let's click on one of the token here let's click on terra luna classic which is uh, l u n c b u s d i've just clicked on it and what can you see wooga you can see candlesticks these are called candlesticks you can see the green and the red uh this green and red stuff you are seeing here are called candlesticks all right so what you can see at the top you can see l u n c stroke b u s d what it simply means is that you're buying or selling the first token against the second one so 
Um, if you click on buy, it means you're going to be using your BUSD to buy your Terra Luna Classic. So if you click on sell, it means you're going to be selling Terra Luna Classic for BUSD. All right, so uh, once you click on Terra Luna Classic, L-U-N-C stroke BUSD, you can see this is what the chart look like. Okay, this is called a candlestick chart. Uh, we are going to be learning what candlesticks are in this video right now, and we are going to be knowing how to read them, how to take trading decisions with them. They are simply um, the representation of the price of that token within a specific time frame you can see at the top here you can see your uh, 15m 1h uh, 4h and 1d so each of these candlestick you are seeing here is a reflection of your time frame if it is in 1d 1d simply means one day it simply means each of these candlestick is the price action of terra luna for the past one day all right so if you change it to 4h it means each candlestick is representing the price action of terra luna for the past four hours all right so the essence of engaging in technical analysis is for you to be able to predict the next price movement so you could take trading decision that would definitely earn you um some good profit all right yeah, so every token has a trading pair. Every token is traded against a pair. See that it's traded against a stable currency, which is uh, could be BUSD or USDT, or it's uh, traded against another coin or token, which is uh, which could be ETH, it could be uh, BTC, it could be BNB, or any one that is available on that spot trading. The way the candlesticks are forming, they are called patterns. There are different patterns of candlestick, and each of these candlesticks have a meaning. Just below the candlestick here, you will see something like MA, EMA, Bollinger, Volume, MACD, RSI, KDJ, and all these lines can be so, so, so confusing. Like, where do you want to start from? Especially as a beginner, this could be confusing. All these are tools that are being used to take price decisions, predict the next price action. But if you don't really know what these tools are and what they are doing, then you just look so confused and you won't be able to use them judiciously. So for your technical analysis, I recommend you use Tab Trader for your uh, technical analysis. Uh, then you can always come and execute your trade on on Binance. All right, so to get your Tap Trader, you can easily go to your iOS Play Store or Google Play Store, then search for Tap Trader and download it. Right here, I have it already in my phone, so I will just click on Tap Trader and Google, it launches me into my Tap Traders. All right, so you can see a lot of tokens that are listed here on my watch list. To add a token to your watch list is simple, just click this plus ticker sign here, then you'll be able to search a token and Google, it will appear on your watch list. Okay, so right now I already have um, BTC USDT on my watch list. I have BNB, ETH, Matic, and a whole lot of them. All right, so we are going straight into the business of this day. So at the end of this video, you should be a very good trader. All right, so we are going to start on a clean slate. So I will first take off these indicators so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, yes, this is a bear chart of what the um, Terra Luna BUSD look like. Okay, so um, we want to start with candlesticks. Like I said earlier, these are candlesticks. The red candles and the green candles. First of all, what are candlesticks? Candlesticks are simply the representation of the price movement of a coin or a token. When you see the red candlestick, it simply means it's a decline in price. Uh, the price has um, gone down over the last time frame period that you selected. Why, if it's a green candlestick, it simply means there is an increase in price. Understanding these candlesticks makes you take good trade decisions okay so a candlesticks um, usually have the high the low the close and the open now taking this uh, green candlestick here as a case study the highest point which the price has gotten to which is called the high this is the highest point in which the price of that token got to within this particular time frame which is four hours but the lowest point which is 0 0.3002 is the low at which the price of that token got to that very day now in a candlestick we have the body and the weight now within these two period let me draw a horizontal line so you can see what i'm talking about all right so taking this um, green candlestick here as our case study as our example just within where these two red lines are is called the body of the candle now above this red line to the top i'm going to change the color of this line now to yellow all right so uh, where the yellow is starting from 
above and below is called the wick of the candle all right so above the uh, upper side is called the upper shadow wick and the lower side is called the lower shadow all right so the we have two parts of a candlestick we have the body and the wick the body and the wick all right so the highest point of the week is called the high the highest point price go to that very uh, within that particular time frame you are using while the lowest point of the week is called the low usually it's represented with l the lowest point price go to within that time frame you are using why the um upper part of the thickness of the body is called the opening if it's a green candle why the lower part is called the close if it's a green candle why for a red candle i will be adjusting this for the red candle the price actually opened at this top part of the body which is about 0 0.3002 um, the price pushed upward to um, this very point where the yellow line is which is about 0 0.3002 eight nine then went down further the price closed at about zero point triple zero two five seven nine nine that was the closing price but before it closed it also went down to about uh, zero point triple zero two four two five four all right so a candlestick is just simply a financial chart that is used to describe a price movement so you can see the price movement of terra luna classic time frame period which is four hours all right so this is just to explain that in each candlestick you should have the opening the close the high and the low which is usually the body and the week all right so this is usually the features the component of a candlestick but this is not all yes understanding what a candlestick is and what each of them represents can make you take good price decision all right so usually if the week of the candle is longer than the body it is a sign of price rejection all right so so far we've been able to identify the uh, features of a candlestick we have the high we have the um, low we have the open and the close of both a red and a green candle like i said earlier on the red candle simplify a reduction in price why the green candle repre uh, represents an increase in price okay at the base of your screen here you will have your where you can add your technical indicators as well as where you can change your time frame at the base there we are having 4h it simply means each of these candlestick represents four hours so if you click on 4h we are going to have different um um, options to click on you can change each candlestick to five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one week one month depending on the period you want to trade or you want to review okay so right now we are still working with the four hours time frame so all right guys we're going to be talking about types of candlestick right now we are going to be focusing on just three in this video and the first one we are going to be talking about is the hammer i love trading the hammer a kind of candlestick very well and this is exactly what it looks like you can see this candlestick here the body is towards the head and it also has a long wick below so that's what makes it a hammer it looks like a shape of a real hammer you can see this looks like a hammer this looks like the head while the wick looks like the handle so it's usually called a hammer and whenever you see a hammer most likely the price is going to shoot upward it simply means the buyers are in control when you see the hammer it means the buyers are in control and most times the price is going to move upward but of course you don't trade the candlestick pattern in isolation we are going to come to that but whenever you see a hammer candlestick what it simply means is that most likely the price is going to shoot upward and you'll be able to make some good profit from that trade okay so if we check did the price really go up okay yes okay um this is um 0 0.53 and this is well about 0 0.55 okay that's about 10 percent or thereabout okay so whenever you see a hammer kind of candlestick it simply means the price is most likely going to go upward all right so and this is just a green candle a hammer is usually a green candle whenever it's inverted that is um it's a red candle with the wick upward uh let's see if we can locate the opposite of a hammer is the shooting star let's see if we can locate one this example of what a shooting star looks like this candle you are seeing over here this is the high of the candle if you want to uh, impute line you just click and hold your fingers on the screen and a dotted line appears you lift your lines off it then you click on horizontal lines then um, a horizontal line will appear on the screen okay so you can see 
this year is a shooting star. This candlestick right here is a shooting star. Whenever you see a shooting star, it's just the opposite of a hammer. A hammer tends to go upward while a shooting star tends to go downward. Whenever you see a shooting star, the price is most likely going to go downward. You can see the upper side of the week above the body is usually called the upper shadow. A shooting star is usually characterized by a long upper shadow. Then it could have a small lower shadow or no lower shadow at all yeah so whenever you see a week it's either it's having just a little lower shadow like as it is here or it doesn't have a lower shadow at all so you can see this has a lower shadow of between uh, 0.482 and 0.483 that is the lower shadow of this but you can see the upper shadow is very long the very um, the upper shadow is between uh, 0.486 to about 0.496 so a, a, a shooting star is usually characterized by a long upper shadow and just a little or no lower shadow usually when you see a hammer the price is most likely going to go upward and when you see a shooting star the price is most likely going to go downward so you can see as we have the shooting star here the price went downward you can see it's followed by a red candle and you can see it the price continued to uh, diminish continue to retrace down further to this very point so so identifying these candlestick trading patterns will help you to take good trading uh, decisions whenever you want to go in and out of a trade all right so this is the first candlestick we are going to talk about which is a hammer and shooting star the next one is called a doji all right so a doji is just like a cross you can see it here just like a cross it usually don't have a body a doji usually don't have a body unlike other candlestick you can see it just have the high it has the low and has um, a price action so the exact spot the price open is also the exact spot the price closes it's an indecision candle whenever you see a doji uh, the buyers and the sellers are muslin the price action is actually undecided at that moment so you have to wait for the next candlestick to form and study the pattern before you take your price decision because at that point you don't know if the price is going to go upward or downward so the doji candlestick is a point where the buyers and sellers try to struggle and muzzle against each other who will win the battle all right so at this point after the doji we had a red candlestick and because you can see that we had a shooting star and price went down further okay so this is just how to um trade the doji all right so doji is usually undecided you don't use doji candlestick to take major decisions your entry or exit decisions no because it's usually undecided the market is indecisive at that point so you need to wait for the next candlestick to form or use another trading tools to know the best action to take at that point in time the third candlestick we are going to be discussing for today is called the engulfing candlestick now we have the bullish engulfing candlestick and we also have the bearish engulfing candlestick and this is just an example of what an engulfing candlestick is okay so an engulfing candlestick is used to identify a market reversal when you have an engulfing candlestick there must be a change in color and it means um it's either the previous candle is red and we have a green candlestick that engulfs the red candlestick which makes it a bullish engulfing okay so what makes it engulfing is just simple you can see how the body of this green candle engulfs that of the red candle so it is when there is a change in color and the current color engulfs the whole body of the previous candlestick then it is an engulfing candlestick so if it's a green candlestick that engulfs the previous red candlestick it becomes bullish engulfing but if it is a red candlestick that engulfs a green candlestick then it becomes a bearish engulfing and what happens after the engulfing it simply means if it's a bullish engulfing there's high possibility or probability that the price is going to shoot upward uh, when you're trying to decide if you're to enter the market or not and you see a bullish engulfing that is a good sign that yes buyers are in control then you can dive into the market and make some good profit for yourself all right but of course you don't trade candlestick in isolation you always always try to use other indicators to reaffirm your position so when you enter you are ensuring that you are taking the right decision okay so just to summarize for an engulfing candlestick there must be one a change in color and the new color must 
engulf the entire body of the previous candlestick. That's what makes it an engulfing candlestick pattern. Now, it could be either a bullish engulfing or a bearish engulfing. So if it's a bullish engulfing, price goes upward. If it's a bearish engulfing candlestick, the price goes downward. So at that point, you know if you're to enter or exit the market of course this helps in identifying market reversal if the market has been on a um, downtrend and you have a bullish engulfing it means yes we are about to go upward but if the market has been on an uptrend and we have a bearish engulfing candlestick then that means we are about to go downward the market is about to retrace and have some sell-off all right so this will help you to take good and wise decision that's that for the candlestick we have just discussed three types of candlestick which is the hammer and shooting star the doji candlestick and the engulfing pattern candlestick okay so each of these candlesticks are used to identify market reversals so usually if the week is longer than the body of a candlestick that is a sign of price rejection so you always use that to uh, monitor it on your chart if it's a green candlestick and you're having a very long week upward okay let's take uh, this as an example this is a green candlestick this is a downtrend you can see we are moving downward this is like a downtrend and we are having buyers trying to step in there but the week upward is much more longer than the body of the candle is this is a, is a sign of price rejection so the sellers are saying no the price can't go up let's push it down further and there, there are more sell-off and that is why we are having a longer week above the um, body of the candle then whenever there is a shorter week then you know that um, is a sign of price acceptance but yes like i always say you don't trade candlestick patterns in isolation what that means is that you trade it alongside with other technical indicators other technical indicators okay so the next um, indicator we are going to be talking about now is how to draw our support and resistance level yeah those are very good uh, trading indicators to help us define our entry point all right so trading indicators helps to tell us what the price is up to it helps to identify the trends and pattern it helps you to find entry and also find exit point of a trade now we are going to learn how to draw support and resistance first what is support okay so support and resistance are areas in the market where prices are likely to react from so support is an area where the price is likely to bounce up or get supported by why resistance is an area where the market price is likely to fall or drop down from is uh, based on historical price action all right so let me just uh, show you exactly how to draw support and resistance that three steps the first thing to do to draw a support is to zoom out first to see a larger part of the charts like this okay we want to draw an horizontal line that we have multiple contact with these candlesticks all right so you click and hold you see dotted line then you drag to wherever you have more contact okay uh, where there are reversals you can see let's have our first horizontal line here okay you can leave it and click on it all right so i'm going to change it to yellow i like the yellow color because it's sharp it's bright okay so remember what i said support the support is an area where the price is likely to bounce up from or get supported okay you can see at this point there's a bounce off in price here yeah? uh the price got to this um, horizontal line and it bounced up further it came to this point okay at this point also the price came down to this same horizontal line and it bounced up again to this point you can see over here okay so i'm um, going forward again the price bounced to this horizontal line and it also bounced up forward remember support lines are areas or regions where the price is likely to get to and we have a reversal okay you can see from here there was a reversal there was an upward move here there was an upward move here there was an upward move so we can say this is a support to this chart so, okay here we have also have uh, multiple contacts okay so you can see first step like i said to draw a support line you zoom out when you zoom out you'll be able to see the larger part of the chart of the candlesticks then you can draw your horizontal line okay so this is for the base support is for the base level then horizontal is for the top all right so you can see we have contact here we have contact here we have contact here and there is a bounce off uh the price got to that region and it went down further so it means here is a resistant level you can zoom in now here is a resistant level the price 
action don't want to go above this level so this is a resistance and this is a support that is what resistance is you can see there's also a bounce up around this region yes when we go up further you can see there are also price actions around this region there are bounce up around this region so this is also a support line we can have to support line like this which gives it a region if the price retails crosses this first resistance line then we can see if it will have another contact with the second one or it will reverse in between so this will help you to guide your price decision making. So like I said, the support usually draw support and resistance line based on price history to be able to know the current price. Okay, so we can see the price is much more lower than this. We can also draw another support. Remember, we are using the four hours time frame for our charting. All right, so if your support and resistance is well drawn, it means you can make profit just trading uh, your support and resistance. You can buy at a support level Level and sell at the resistance level buy at the support level sell at the resistance buy support sell resistance and you see yourself making profit just within these two points we have over 20 percent profit that you can be making on a trade but one question is how do you know that the price won't go down below the support level or won't go much much high above the resistance level that is why i always say you don't trade one pattern in isolation you need majorly three confirmation before you can take a trading decision which is the trends the area of value and the entry trigger we are going to get there maybe now the big question in your mind is how do you know that the price will continue to operate within this support and resistance level how sure am i that the next time the price is retracing down it won't break the support level and go down further or it won't break the resistance level i miss out in um, good profit that i'm supposed to make that is why as a good trader you are not supposed to trade any pattern in isolation like i said earlier when i was talking about the candlestick pattern you don't trade the candlestick pattern in isolation also the support and resistance you don't trade the support and resistance pattern in isolation all right so what is the assurance that the price will continue to operate within your support and resistance level well that's why you shouldn't trade a trading pattern in isolation always combine it with other technical analysis before taking your trading decisions now your support can be a new resistance and your resistance can be a support how you may ask okay if you notice here the price uh, there was a downtrend that came this way and immediately there was a bounce off the price bounced upward and it operated within this um, support and resistance level but went above the resistance level then you can see this red candle is now sitting on top of the resistance level now this resistance level has now become a support for this price action that is above this resistance so now we have a um, new support level and new resistance level so we can see we are having a new resistance around this region when you're drawing your support and resistance you should have at least three contacts with your horizontal line either it's diagonal or horizontal or your trend line you should have at least three contacts so here we have one contact we have two contacts we have three contacts here so okay so here we can say we have our resistance level around this region okay so this is our resistance level and this is our support level this region that was formerly a resistance level is now a support level for the price action that is above it so you can see later the price broke down further to the lower support level but the question now is how will you know that the price is going to break downward or how will you know that the price is going to break upward if you notice this price action now it's as if the candlestick is moving up in a diagonal manner all right so now to establish the trend we can draw a diagonal line how do we do that you click on this pencil symbol here at the base of your screen then you click on trend line place your finger at the beginning of where the trend line started from at the base there then drag it upward so that you can establish more contact with with the lower part of the candlestick remember you are supposed to have multiple contacts with your candlestick okay so let's see are we having contact this way um you can always adjust it okay yes you can see we're having our first contact here let me show you uh, with an arrow okay you can see we have a contact here we have another contact here we have another contact here we have another contact here so we can establish that yes this is a solid support line for this candle pattern all right so we want to also establish another one above it which is a resistance level the one below is always the support and the one above is always the resistance 
Okay, so if you look at the top, we need more of a horizontal support system here. Okay, so we click on that uh, horizontal just like we had before. We need a region. Okay, yes, this is the region. All right, so let me turn this uh, diagonal line to, uh, let's say, blue, so we can have a difference. Okay, but well, how do we know that this price is going to continue uh, like this? Um, what we want to do is to know if the price is actually continue to go up or is going to fall down. So the first thing you have to do is to draw a trend line. And the trend line is this diagonal line I have just drawn that is colored blue. And this is a chart pattern that is called an ascending triangle. Here now you observe that the resistance level is solid. Once the price gets to this point, it reverses. But the support level is not solid, it's weak. So that's why it got to this first point and went up. The support level went higher. At this point, we had a higher low. But is it going to continue that way to establish that you need a trend line? So now after drawing your trend line, you see that your price action is within this triangle which is called an ascending triangle so what you want to do next is to wait for a breakout now a breakout there will either be an upward breakout or a downward breakout when we have an ascending triangle but most likely it's going to be a downward breakout because the resistance level is actually strong but we could actually have a reversal we could have an upward breakout so at this point what you need to do is just observe the price action we want to know if we are to go into this trade or to exit if you are already in then you should consider placing your stop loss but if you're not in and you've observed the chart pattern that this is an ascending triangle all you need to do is wait for the breakout you don't enter when um, the price is still inside because you could enter and it breaks the support level and goes down like it did here but what you want to do first is after establishing your diagonal support your trend line support is to wait for a breakout as you can see after this red candle here there was a breakout downward and as the breakout came it went down and touched this next support level so supposing the price breaks this resistance level and should upward then that means we could record a new high so once it's uh, retraced further and sits on the resistance level once the resistance level turns the support then you could you can consider entering the trade like i said earlier on you don't trade a chart pattern in isolation you don't trade a candlestick pattern in isolation you don't trade it alone you don't trade uh, support and resistance alone so before taking any trading decision whether to enter or exit the market know the trend first know the area of value your area of value could be your support and resistance it could all also be your uh, moving average and trend lines we are going to talk about moving average and trend line right now then you could also check for an entry trigger okay so all right guys so this is the terra luna trading pair uh, we are going to be using it for illustration we are, we are going to be going straight into technical indicators yeah there are a ton of technical indicators out there uh, but it's good to just choose the one that best fits your pattern the one that you prefer most and use it to trade and use it to make your profit so i'll be giving you my top three technical indicators in this video and i'll be telling you exactly how to apply them to make your profit the first technical indicators we are going to be talking about is bollinger bollinger bands yeah bollinger bands this has been one of my best indicators right from time since i started trading i've been using this indicator and it has been very useful all right so to add the um, bollinger band technical indicators to to your chart on top trader what you need to do is just to click on this zigzag symbol at the base of your top trader I already have it added previously that is why you see it here but if you've not added it before you may need to click on this plus sign once you click on this plus sign then you type in bollinger band bollinger bollinger bands here you can see it here um, once you click on it you see I already have it added before but you can see it already uh, is added again it comes preset with some parameters but don't worry you don't need to adjust it you can just leave it at its default all right so once you add it it appears here under your indicator list then you can go back to your trade if it's not on you can just um, toggle it on you can see the toggle button here you can toggle it on and off all right so it's on let's go back to the screen all right you can see this is what the uh, bollinger bands looks like um you don't need to worry yourself about the technicalities just need to understand what um it is we have the uh, bollinger band is characterized by three lines and a shader rejoin you can see the upper band which is this upper line that is colored blue you can see uh, the middle band which is this line that is colored hash you can see the lower band which is um colored blue 
uh, is a thicker blue. Then you can see the shaded region is inside the band, inside the Bollinger band. All right, so let me change my time frame to four hours, four H. Okay. All right, so you can see this is what the Bollinger bands looks like. Okay, so the Bollinger bands is used to determine the overbought and oversold um, region of a token. It's used to ascertain when a token or a coin has been overbought or it has been oversold to know um, when to enter, if you are to enter or to exit. So also you can easily to know the retracement level of the token of the price at that particular time. Okay, you can see uh, the upper band, whenever the price is, the candlestick crosses the upper band, it simply means this token has been overbought. So most likely there will be a retracement. And whenever the candle has gone way below the lower band, it simply means the token has been oversold. At that point, it is very cheap, so you can buy. Then the middle band is used to ascertain the retracement level. All right, so let's um, check that from this chart, this Terra Luna classic chart. Okay, we can see. Let's go down. Formerly, when I started trading, I had the mentality that once the candlestick is outside the Bollinger Band, it's just a time to buy. So whenever I see candlestick outside the Bollinger Band, I just buy. That is, if it's a red candlestick that is outside below the Bollinger Band, I just keep buying. I, I keep buying, buying, buying. But <laughs> there is more to it than that. And whenever the um, candlestick is above the Bollinger Band, I'll say, no, ah, it's over overbought to uh, the price cannot go higher than that and i will just keep off i won't buy again but no 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 that is not exactly how it works let's use this candlestick for example if you have that mentality of just buying outside below the bollinger band and selling above the bollinger band the trade may actually go against you let's imagine you bought this token terra luna at this price that was below the bollinger band and you are expecting uh, once it's below the bollinger band it more definitely go high and let's say the next candlestick again went lower Ah, it even went lower than what you bought it the previous time and both of them are outside the Bollinger Band. Check the next candlestick again. Ah, it went lower. It means you're already at a loss. And see the next candlestick again. The total candlestick, both the body and the week is outside. Then you are in trouble. You might have lost a ton of your um, revenue, a ton of your fund that you use in entry that trade. So it's not just all about um, entering or buying a token or an asset once it's outside the Bollinger Band, then sell it when it's above the band. No, it's way beyond that you don't trade a technical indicator in isolation like i said earlier on yeah there are three items you need to check on the list is your trend your area of value and also your trigger point we are coming to that but the idea about the bollinger is when price is outside below the bollinger band then the price is actually um oversold then you could actually consider entering but you don't do that without confirming with another um, technical tool then when it's above then the price is most likely overbought then we are expecting a retracement okay sometimes the middle bollinger band the middle band is a very good tool for price retracement whenever price goes way above the upper part of the bollinger band the price may just retrace to the middle band and there is an upshoot in price and okay let me tell you one secret i've been using with the bollinger bands this works for me eight out of ten times whenever there is a green candle that is sitting on top of the middle bollinger band that is a very good entry sign for me i've observed this over time from experience whenever there is a green candlestick mostly if it's a hammer then well that is just a very good confirmation there is high probability that the price is going to shoot upward that is actually a good sign to enter that trade it doesn't work for me always like i said but i say eight out of ten times it works that way for me you can also develop your own strategy this is my personal strategy that i use and is very effective but if you're not sure you can always use your um the lower part of your week of that week as your stop loss if you've entered that trade already okay mostly i check out for a hammer if i see a candlestick hammer that is sitting on top of the middle bollinger band i am entering that trade that is my own strategy you mustn't adopt my strategy but i've been using it and it worked very well for me so you could adopt that or you could ignore that you could observe it for a while and see how it works for you all right so you can see this candlestick sitting on this middle bollinger band and what is the next price action mostly when the price has gone way higher above the upper band of the bollinger then we are expecting to see a retracement and when the price is retracing there is a high possibility that it will most likely get close to or sit on top of the middle band of the bollinger so you can see uh, yeah the price 
Price Action got very close to, there was a sideward move here. Price Action got close to the Bollinger Band and it went upward again. There was an upward shoot because the bull was in charge of this market. All right, so just know this principle about Bollinger Band. Once the price has gone way above the upper part of the band, it will retrace back and most likely get to the middle band region. That if it's an uptrend, it continues upward. So once the price get to the middle band region, that could be an entry point for you. You could enter that trade and wait for the price to go up above the upper part of the band. Then you can sell off, then wait for a retracement again. If you are trading this candlestick pattern, this Terra Luna Classic with the Bollinger Band using this strategy, you can be a successful trader. You can see uh, from here, the price went above the uh, Bollinger Band, then it re retraced back to the uh, middle Bollinger Band, then continue upward. You can see the shoot upward, then it came back into the Bollinger Band, then got close to the middle Bollinger Band, then shoot upward again because we are in an uptrend. If you are in the uptrend, the price will most likely not cross this uh, middle Bollinger Band and go down below. You can see from this middle band, after it got close to it, the price shot upward again. And after that, uh, it consolidates to the right, gets to the middle band again. Then because we are still in the upward trend, it went up higher. So if you are just trading the Bollinger Band alone, you can see you will be in good profit here. Price over around the middle band region again then shot upward again you can see just the middle band is a very good uh point for um price retracement level so once it gets to the middle band there's a high possibility that it will go high if you have established that that token in an uptrend so you must always establish the trend of the token by coming to trend but before we come to that it's good we understand this bollinger bands pattern okay on a four hour time frame you can see uh, using bollinger bands the price retraced to the middle band and shot upward again and right now it is outside the band so most likely it will still maybe shoot upward a little and later retrace to the middle band and if it's still in an uptrend then from the middle band it continues upward but you must first always establish if it is in an uptrend or a downtrend like i said you don't trade an indicator a technical indicator in isolation you must always add other technical indicators to to affirm your price decision so you are sure that you're taking the right price action on that token don't worry i'm going to show you exactly how to trade this technical analysis and take the right price decision as soon as i'm done explaining each of them then i tell you exactly how to apply them for good profit okay this is uh, for the bollinger band just know that when the price of the token is outside the upper band of the bollinger it's a sign that that token has been overbought and there is a, a likelihood that the price is going to retrace back into the bollinger once it goes out of the bollinger it's definitely going to go back into the bollinger and the same thing applies to uh, a lower trend because this is just an upper trend you can see here here is like a downtrend the price went below the bollinger band here yeah? it retraced to the middle of the band you can see as the price came in contact with the middle band it continues the downtrend touches the downtrend then reverse it shot above the middle band and the upper band then retrace back to the middle this is for the first indicator which is bollinger band let's move to the second indicator which will be moving average yeah this is uh, this is a very sweet tool that almost all traders uses almost all technical analysts use for their trading okay all right so right now we are going to take off this um, bollinger band and add the moving average okay so to take it off click on this zigzag symbol at the base of your screen let's add the moving average if you want to do that just click on this plus sign click on simple moving average you can see this is what it looks like but i'm going to toggle this on off because i already have it off you can see it comes preset with some parameters but you don't need to worry if i'm going to show you how to use a longer time moving average and a shorter one right now okay so we are just um toggled on the moving average which has a nine slash c parameters let's go back to our chart so this is what it looks like it just basically a line uh let me explain the idea about the moving average the idea behind the moving average is if you check the moving average right now we are using nine stroke c this simply means the uh, price action of the last nine candlesticks now what is what it does is that it takes the uh, average of the nine past candlesticks average it and that is the position the moving average is going to be it takes the average of the last period 
that you set it to be right now we are using 9 c the default of the moving average is 9 so this blue line is currently on a 9 yeah the cdl represents candlestick it means this is the average price where the price is now where this blue currently is which is at this point it's the average price of the last nine candlestick so all you need to do is count the last candlestick which is one two three four five six seven eight nine so the indicator takes average price of this nine candlestick and divide it by nine that will give you the current price where the um simple average is now which is uh, 0 0.3047045 that is the idea behind the simple average so if you change that nine to let's say 20 it simply means it will give you the average of the last 20 candlesticks so that is the idea behind the simple average all right, so just before we go into moving average deeper, let's talk a little about trend. Let's use the Bitcoin USDT chart to talk about trend. I'm changing the time frame here to a 1D. Uh, let me take off this Fibonacci. So, all right, so this is what the um, Bitcoin USDT chart looks like. This is a 4D chart, which, which means each of these candlesticks here represent four days. All right, so in a trend, we have majorly an uptrend or downtrend. It's either the price is going upwards or the price is going downward. We can also have a sideward move, which is called a consolidation, a sideward move of price towards the right. Now, the big question is how do you establish that you're in a downtrend or you're in an uptrend? All right, so uh, let me also change the time frame so you can see better what a sideward move look like a consolidation okay so here you can see that we are having a sideward move in price let's use a trend line all right so you can see this is just like a sideward move in price this is like a pattern this is an ascending triangle all right so you can see here we have this almost what we drew the first time all right so a trend is just a movement of price in a particular direction all right so doing an uptrend we always have a high a higher high and a higher low a higher high and a higher low all right let me illustrate that with text let me write it here you click on this pencil sign to write a text on your screen you click on text place your finger where you want it then you click on the button uh, to type in the text you want all right so in an uptrend market it is characterized by a higher high and a higher low first we have a low which is at this point this is the lowest point price got to then we have a high which is at this point we have a higher high here l represents low h represents high hl represents higher low and hh represents the higher high all right so uh for the illustration you can see this low was the lowest point the price got to uh, this level then the price went up to this level then came down again the higher low here is uh, representing a level that is higher than the previous low that's what makes you know that you are on an uptrend when the higher low is greater than the previous higher low okay and the uh, the next high is greater than the previous high so it becomes a higher high when the current high is greater than the previous high it becomes a higher high and when the current low is higher than the previous low it becomes a higher low all right so you can see from this uh, level here uh, the price got to this point then retrace started going up it means here is a higher low because here is higher than this particular point where we are here okay so after this the price also experienced a new high and also a new low so this is a new high the price keeps the price chart keeps discovering a new high a new low a new high a new low all right now from this chart you will find out that um we are always experiencing there is always higher high higher low and that is what continues until we get to this point where we are now we just discovered a new higher high so it simply means if we are still in an uptrend it simply means we are going to have a new higher low but if there is a trend reversal and we are now in the downtrend it means this the next low will be below this higher low level talking about the lunar classic this is the last higher low so if the price now gets to this point where this horizontal line is and goes below it it simply means we've gone into a downtrend we are into a downtrend now so when you are taking a trade you should be careful you don't want to go long again you want to go short and just take your profit so at this point so if we experience a lower low then we are probably going on a trend reversal now another good way of knowing the trend of the market is by using your 200 
MA, your moving average. All right, so to get that, all you need to do is click on this zigzag sign, then it brings out your indicator. Click on it, then click on the plus sign. What you need to do is to add another simple moving average. Then you can see the parameters are set to 9C. What you want to do next is to change it to 200C because uh, that is what we are going to work with, 200 MA. All right, so um, click on this current value, which is 9. You type in 200, then you click on OK. Then you go back, you got you can see the line we have a line here of um, you can see this green line here that is colored this green line here is indicating your 200 ma when your current price level or your candlestick is above the 200 ma it simply means you are on an uptrend you may ask yourself why am i using 200 ma well that is just the common one that is used by most professional traders so i also incline my practice to that so i use 200 ma to ascertain the um, trend of the market if we are on a uptrend or downtrend but it's not rocket science it mustn't be 200 ma you can also use uh, 50 ma to do your trading as well but I personally use 200 MA to ascertain the trend and also use 50 MA to know the, the trading pattern of that particular chart. Okay, you can see I've just changed the candlestick the, uh, time frame to 30 minutes. So each candlestick here represents 30 minutes. This is the 200 MA and it's as if the um, trade, the candlestick is actually in line with the 200 MA. You can see we are having close range contact with the 200 MA. Like I said earlier on, if the price chart or the candlesticks are above the 200 MA, then most likely we are on an uptrend. And if it's below, then you are on a downtrend. You can see the candlestick cross the uptrend here the 200 ma and that was where we start experiencing a higher high you can see right here we had a low a higher low because we are on an uptrend you can see here we have a higher high and even when the price retrace you can see there's a contact here with the 200 ma but that was a bounce up that was where the price actually bounced up and continue the uptrend okay so wherever there is a reversal when the price retrace it will actually break through this 200 ma and retrace further when we find a lower low then there is a change in trend so you always use your 200 ma to ascertain the long trend of the market before taking either your short or long position. Basically, the um, ME is used to ascertain the trend of the market. All right, so the same um, principles that apply in an uptrend also apply in a downtrend. All you need to do is just understand the concept, then flip it over, then apply it and still make your gains. All right, so this is how it works. Some charts actually respect the 50 MA. Some charts don't respect it. Some charts respect the middle band of the Bollinger while retracing. Some charts respect the 200 MA. So whenever you want to engage in a trade, first bring out the token, then try to draw in your moving average, then know exactly which one that chart respects more. Then trade with that one. Use that one to make your trading decisions. So it's either the middle band of your Bollinger or your 50 MA or your 200 MA. So you just choose the right one to take your decision. There's no rocket science to it. Just understand the concept and apply it judiciously all right so you can see um the terra luna is currently trying to find a lower low maybe a lower low or maybe a higher low we'll find out <laughs> all right so let's use this um what we've just learned so far to just check the price of bitcoin okay this is a four hours um, time frame this hash line you see over here is the middle band of this bollinger band okay you can see uh this green candle here touched the bollinger band and immediately retraced in case you're out of the market and at this point you're thinking should i enter should i not buy with bitcoin continue to rise higher or not now you've um used the combination of these patterns to take your decision now this is a Bollinger band. Once it gets outside the lower part of the band, it retreats inside back, mostly touches the middle Bollinger band. Then, if we want to have a trend reversal, then it will most likely shoot above the middle band. So, what you do next when you are at the middle band is to watch out for your candlestick pattern. While we continue the video, let's also watch out for this trade. Okay. All right. So, the last um, technical indicator we are going to talk about is called RSI. Yes, Relative Strength Index. Right now, we are going to add it up. Let's take off all these indicators so we can understand when we are using the RSI. Let's toggle off. Okay. Then we'll click on this plus sign and type in RSI. RSI. Oh, yes. You can see Relative Strength Index. Yeah, that is the same thing. I'm going to click on it and you can see the toggle 
is on then we go back you can leave it at the default you can see what has just appeared on the screen you can see this region this is called the rsi all right so the rsi is usually used to ascertain a trend reversal all right so the rsi rsi is simply relative strength index all right so it's an indicator that is used to identify overbought or oversold yeah above the 70 is usually the overbought region which is very expensive and when it is below the 30 is usually oversold which is cheap so you can see when the price action is over the 70 region here is usually um called the overbought at that point most the token has gone high in price and most people will want to sell off and make their profit cash out their profit and whenever it is below 30 it means the token is very cheap you can buy as much as possible if you are buying for long term or if you're trading or also combine it with other indicators to be sure that you are buying you are buying at the right spot don't worry i'm going to show you exactly how to combine all these tools and make your price decision because as a technical analyst you don't use only one tool no you don't trade a tool in isolation you use a combination of these tools that is why it's good to identify the ones that aligns with your trading strategy then use it judiciously to take your price decisions okay so for me and uh, these are my top three indicators all right so let me just uh, go a little bit further on rsi so it's good to also know that the rsi can stay inside the overbought or oversold region for some time so if you are not careful you can buy low and the price will continue to go lower and lower and lower until <laughs> you can even get wrecked all right so uh, you must understand that there are times even while the price is uh, below the 30 rsi you should know that yes there are principles that should guide either your buying if you should buy at that moment or not so maybe the big question in your mind now is then how do i know when to buy <laughs> very easy all right so you combine the rsi with what is called divergence yes there's what is called divergence divergence occurs when price occurs in an opposite direction of the rsi indicator which can then be used as a possible trend change or trend reversal all right so let me illustrate that to you so at this point we're having a higher high in the price so a divergence occurs when there is a lower low in the rsi so we can see boldly right now that at this point that of terra luna classic we experienced the first higher high here the second higher high here and the third higher high here but look at the rsi right now the rsi right now is giving us a lower high you can see the first this high you can see the second high and you can see the third high so while the price action is going up which is a higher high the rsi is giving us a lower high which means there is a possible trend reversal the next move will most likely be a downward move we are going to experience a lower low in this chart this is what the rsi is telling us right now so we don't just say because maybe this other indicator is telling us that oh the price has got into the middle part of the bollinger band it's most likely possible that it will go back high no what is the rsi telling you that is where we use a combination of tools so right now the rsi is telling us we are having a divergence in the rsi here we had a higher high higher high and higher high in price and also we had a higher high in the rsi but right now there is a divergence because the price is giving us a higher high but the rsi is giving us a lower high so most likely we are going to have a divergence so we might experience a reversal in trend so most likely we are going to have a downtrend coming on terra luna classic this is just an example of how this chart is going to play out so let's see how it's going to play out most often than not when we have a divergence like this that has been spotted the price most likely goes towards that direction but let's see if it's going to obey the principle or not but if you ask me we are going to experience a lower low in this chart because this divergence most likely usually works from this higher high we should experience a lower low at this point because this is the next support level you can see this is actually the last low but we are going to go below the last low we need to have a lower low before we confirm a trend reversal and a lower low will be where will be around this region okay so the lower low will be around the last higher high region so if the price gets to this region which is around 0.029 in trend so let's watch out for that all right so this is me predicting terra luna classic right now using our chart <laughs> all right so let's see if the price actually goes 
exactly that way. This is just a perfect example of an RSI and the divergence. So if you actually want to go long on this trade, you should know that this divergence now is telling us that, hey, it's very, very risky to go wrong on this. You are most likely going to make a loss. Why not wait for a reversal so you can go short and make your profit from this trade? That is what the Terra Luna chart is telling us on RSI divergence. Okay, so that's just it for now. Now, another way to really confirm if we are going to have a downward trade is to see if we can have a breakout. We are going to achieve that using a trend line. Okay, so at what point do we confirm if really we are going on a downtrend on Terra Luna Classic? This is it. All right, so you need to confirm with a trend line. Now, earlier on trying to analyze a Bollinger, we found out that the Terra Luna Classic respects the middle band of the Bollinger. So right now, we are, let's toggle on Bollinger bands, okay? All right, so we can see that previously we've had the price respect this, the middle band of this Bollinger band. If the price action now continues to go down and it breaks this middle band, it goes down below the middle band and goes below the last lower low, then we are most likely going to experience a downtrend but you also check that with other indicators as well okay so um let's uh, monitor the chart and see how it goes all right so we've talked about several indicators we've talked about candlestick patterns we've talked about uh, support and resistance we've talked about trend lines we talk about market trend uh, which is the up and down trend with the consolidation we've also talked about my top three indicators um, which is um, Bollinger Bands, Moving Average, and RSI, alongside with RSI Divergence. So right now, how do you apply this? How do you know exactly when to buy, when to sell? Some of you must have been waiting for me to get to this point. Okay, all right. So how do we know when exactly to use these chart patterns to take the right trading decisions? And this is where your um, competence as a technical analyst is put to test. This is where your skill as a trader is put to test. Now, there are three things you should tick on your list before you should engage in a trade. Three things you need to check. One is trend. Okay, so before you buy or sell any crypto, you need to ascertain is that crypto on uptrend or a downtrend? That is the first thing you need to ascertain. Is it on an uptrend or a downtrend? Now, this crypto uh, Terra Luna now, we've seen obviously that is on an uptrend from all the analysis we've done on it. Using our 200 MA, this is our 200 MA, let me toggle it on. Using our Bollinger Bands, how do we know if we are to buy at this point or not? First thing you need to do is check number one, what is the trend of that crypto? Right now, we've established that Terra Luna is on an uptrend using our different um, indicators. We've used our 200 MA, um, 200 moving average. We've also used our um, Bollinger Bands. And we've seen, obviously, that we've been experiencing a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, which has established that, yes, this is an uptrend. So right now, the next thing they should take is what is the area of value? Before you can take any decision, if you should buy or sell, you should ascertain what the area of value is. The area of values are either the, um, the moving average or the trend lines or the support and resistance. Always, first of all, identify the trend after identifying the trend get an area of value an area of value can be your support or resistance it can be your moving average it can be your trend line get your area of value then what is your trigger point what is your trigger point is there a reversal candlestick pattern that is forming or is there a chart pattern that is forming that should be your trigger point is there a double bottom that is forming okay now a double a bottom simply means when you have double contact or two contacts at the same low level at the same level that makes it a double bottom sometimes we could also have a triple bottom we could also have head and shoulder. Okay, all these are chart patterns. So what is your area? What are your areas of value? Do you have a resistance or support line? Technical analysis is all about price prediction. You want to know where the price will be the next level, the next time frame that you're working with. If you're working with the next 30 minutes, if you're working with four hours, if you're working with one day, you want to know if the price will um, go bullish or bearish. That is why you are actually doing your technical analysis. All right, so where you are unsure about the price action, you actually wait for 
uh, a clearer price signal. You don't just jump in when you don't have a clear signal. No. All right. So I'm just using this um, Terra Luna, this live chart as an illustration. The same principle is applicable in any crypto, in any token, in any coin, in Bitcoin or BTC, in Ethereum, in um, any token, any crypto you can think of. What you just need to do is understand the principle and apply the same principle to all cryptos uh, crypto charts and you get the same result you check the area of value check if the current price is at a support or a resistance level because you don't just want to see a bullish engulfing candle anywhere and just enter it may just lead you to a wrong trading decision if you are not careful you will see yourself just making a hell of loss all right guys so let's come back to um let's get back to the chart the bitcoin chart and let's observe what has happened over time okay remember we're using the four hours time frame to have our prediction okay so um this can you can remember this candlestick the price was um, retesting this uh the middle band of the bolinga you can see the red candlestick and the green one uh, I was still waiting for a clear signal if we are going to have an upward move or a downward move. So the market was still indecisive. The candlestick here wasn't clear, so I needed to wait some more. And afterwards, we um, after uh, about one, two, three, four, five candlestick has retest this middle average, the middle band of the Bollinger. I just spotted a very clear candlestick, which is a hammer. Remember what I said earlier in this video on, about a hammer. Uh, a hammer once you see a hammer uh, it means buyers are trying to take over the market there is a high possibility that that price is going to shoot upward especially if that is an area of value remember you first take, check the trend after the trend you check the area of value then the uh, trigger so the trigger here i'm seeing is this um hammer candlestick i'm seeing over here then what happened afterwards you can see let's zoom out that you can see there is an upshoot of price so just within this uh point and this point so that's a very good amount of profit and percentage so what i did um immediately i spotted this candlestick i went and took a trade and you can see i'll be showing you the trade i just took okay you can see the coins and token here yeah, these are my watch list i actually uh put this um tokens here so that i can monitor that price movement as a spot trader when you identify a coin or token a crypto that you're interested in trading on the binance spot trading uh, platform all you need to do is pick up the name come to your tap trader add it up then you can either monitor the time the chart over time and engage in your trade so these are the um these are just a few of the tokens that i do monitor afterwards then i either engage in that trade or leave it behind okay so if i actually took um three trades i spotted this a hammer candlestick here and um, i took two on binance and one on kucoin okay so uh let's head straight to kucoin first uh, you can connect your kucoin to your tap trader so you can take your trades directly from your tap trader okay you can see this is the very first trade that i took vra okay you can see this um green candlestick here i mean this green um triangular sign here that is my entry point immediately i spotted that triangle what happened is the price of bitcoin most likely most times affect the general um, trend of the market because bitcoin has a market dominance of about 39 percent so when bitcoin goes up most times all the other crypto market the tokens and coins mostly goes toward that direction but it doesn't happen all the time i'm going to show you practically all right so um for in this case uh, v, uh vra is actually part of my watch list and you can see the trade that i took you can see i bought um vra which is veracity vra usdt i got for about 158 dollars and you can see I, my entry point was about 0.0045 and what is the current price we have about the, uh, 0 0.00472 okay so i'm already up with about five percent i can decide to sell off now and come out of the trade if i'm shorting but i am actually not shorting i'm going long on it because on a one day time frame the price is actually close to the lower part of the bowling i remember uh, as a technical analyst you use a combination of two to take your price decision and able you to know if you're going long or short on that trade for this i'll be going a little long then probably set my buy order at around this region which is um close to the upper part of the bollinger which can be a resistant level you can see this line i've just drawn 
we have about one, two, three, four, or five or more contact with some candlesticks, with the wicks of the candlestick. So that could be an area of resistance where the price will get to and retest. It could go above that or below that. So that will be an area of value where I will have to take my um, entry and my exit decision if I'm to uh, still uh, remain in the trade or go out of the trade. All right, so this is the first trade I took. Um, the next trade I did after that was Ape. I also have Ape on my watch list. So you can see this is Ape. Um, I actually took Ape from my um, Binance. You can see the long green candlestick. I've actually been monitoring Ape and um, I saw that, yes, it's actually under value. You can see the RSI was very low. You can see where the RSI is coming out from. So um, when you spot a token with a very um, low RSI, especially when it's below 30, then you should know that that token is kind of undervalued and um, anytime soon that token could do very well in price. Okay, so I'm going to show you where my price entry was. Uh, you can see the current price is about um, 5.224 USDT. So right now I'm heading to my Binance to show you exactly what the price of uh, my entry point for ape bus is so you see how i took it you can see um i went in on ape this is ape let's go to my trade history order history okay you can see ape uh, my entry point here is about 4.5 you can see average entry price is uh 4.5 um usdt or busd that's 4.5 dollars which is um let's check the current price and see um what where we are now okay you can see we are at um we are at the 5.24 level so it means we are already up with close to 20 percent on this trade already you can see the power of um you can see what the trade look like wow we have a very good green candle you can see how much still spotted here on the binance is the one hour um, time frame one hour chart time frame and um, you can see a hammer still spotted here. And what happens after the hammer, you can see this very long erected candlestick. You can see that the candlestick patterns actually work very well. Whenever you spot that, there is a sign that yes, the price is actually going to do very well. Okay, and this is actually how to spot a token before it appears under the um, top gainers. You can see right now we don't have. Okay, you can see Ape has just appeared with seventeen percent. So if you are um, if you are a good spot trader, you can spot a good token before it appears under the um, top gainers and uh, before you start engaging in your kind of arbitrage trading um, as seen in my previous videos okay so this is actually uh, how to enter a trade before it gets to top gainers okay so with this if the um, token is already on 30 percent profit at 40 percent 50 percent you find out that you are already in that profit all right so some people can see this um, token that actually here yeah, um, this um, amb actually had uh, 178 percent in the last maybe 24 hours some persons actually bought it with the, before the um, rise of this token so this is exactly how to get in before the token um, arrive or is being displayed here on the top gainers okay so um, you can see this is just um, the second trade that I engaged in and then the third one as you can see from my trade history is um, four tube four tube okay you can see it here yes my entry point was about um, 0 0.019 um, you can see this is my entry point the average price 0 0.019 and what is the current price you can see the current price is about 4 tube the ticker is 4 yeah 4 BUSD okay all right so you can see um, 0 points I entered at 0 0.019 but right now it's at 0 0.01968 that is the average price so it's already close to um, a 10 percent um, gain so this is exactly how to make good money for yourself in sport trading using technical analysis using technical indicators so just um after watching this video it's expected that you are now an advanced trader if you can understand and apply all the charts and pattern and tools that you've learned from this video apply them judiciously and you will see yourself making some cool dollars for yourself on a daily basis all right so don't miss out in this so 
So whenever you want to engage in trade, come you can come to Binance Sport. Um, come to Binance Sport Trading. Click on the market. Click on Sport Trading. You can have um, a look at all the tokens here. Then pick one for yourself. Especially, it's good to always pick the one that has a, a reasonable amount of volume. Don't just pick um, a token that does not have a daily trading volume. Always pick the one that have good amount of day trading volume, and you can draw your charts monitor it, add it to your uh, top trader, monitor it, then execute a trade whenever you spot a, a favorable uh, chart pattern. You can also connect your Binance and um, KuCoin exchange account to your top trader, but I won't be doing that in this video. All right, so going to um, Terra Luna, the Terra Luna Classic, let's see what the outcome is so far. Okay, you can see that um, we're having a retracement. Uh, we are trying to have a, either a higher low or a lower low. Okay, but remember what we said in our chat, whenever we have um, an RSI divergence, then there is a probability that we may experience a lower low if um, it's on a high side. If we're having a higher high on the price and a lower high on the RSI, then we might have a divergence. We may experience a lower low. So uh, monitor this on your own and see how the price chart goes, okay? So um, you can also connect your Binance account and your KuCoin account to your top trader, but I won't be doing that in this video. Um, probably if you are interested in how to connect your Binance account to your top trader, you could just um, drop a comment in the comment section below. Then I will do a video to cover that. You can actually achieve that using APIs. All right, so I could illustrate that if anyone is interested. Okay, you can see um, what the ABUSD looks like. All right, so if we have, um, this is an area of value right here where the price is, is actually an area of value because this is a res resistance level. You can see from this um, Fibonacci I've drawn here, I didn't talk about Fibonacci in this video. In my next video, I will talk extensively about Fibonacci, your entry, exit level, and how you can use it to trade. But uh, from this level, this is a Fibonacci, just simply a support and resistance level. And we've talked about support and resistance in this video. All right, so uh, this is a resistance level. And um, if the price should exceed this level, then we may be up for another uptrend. Then maybe the next level we may experience may be within this next um, Fibonacci extension level. All right, so this is still under the radar. This is, I'm still monitoring it under the radar. All right, so with all that you've learned in this video, you are good to go. It's enough to uh, move you to an advanced trader. So what you need to do is you can watch this video over and over again to master the art of trading, to master the candlesticks, to master the chart patterns, the um, uh, Bollinger, the RSI, and everything you've um, learned. And where you have questions, please drop it in the comment section below and I will be answering all your questions. You could also join my Telegram group and drop your question, share your experience with other traders. Okay, so I think that will be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more educational content on um, how to make money on cryptocurrency. All right, thank you. I remain the Bishop of Crypto Cathedral. Do have a lovely day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for instant update. As a member of this cathedral, you are not allowed to be poor. You are advised to always learn, develop a skill by watching this video and practicalizing it to make much money for yourself and earn yourself a wealthy start. Thank you for watching. Do have a lovely day.